this is your lab of biomedical image processing and i will explain you all first three practicals first practical that is uh, related with the sampling frequencies so in our kit as you seen in our setup i have used one kit that is related with the sampling frequency how it will be converted a signal analog signal into the digital discrete signal the process of the sing the main theme of this practical is that we have to convert it the analog signal into discrete signal in the variation of different frequencies so first you have all of the guys have known about this sampling frequency and this theorem sampling theorem which you can study in your books first you study make that how the sampling sampling theorem will work and i am only explain uh, related with our practical so just i you can see in our lab now setup is this this is the cro and one thing is i have set here as a signal analog signal this you can see this the analog signal this signal will be the converted into the discrete signal with the help of the kit so what is the frequency of this analog signal is as in the written in the manual which i have sent you in your group that 1 kilohertz is the rate of the frequency of is this signal the other thing is this what is the other frequency is sampling rate this is the another thing that is called sampling rate which is explained in the kit according to the according to the different frequencies here like 20 kilohertz written in the uh, kit 50 kilohertz and 80 kilohertz and 100 kilohertz and 200 kilohertz all the different frequencies we can just observe our practical so one thing is you know that sampling rate should be 200 2 kilohertz minimum if the sampling if the analog signal is fixed is 1 kilohertz because it is called our theorem that the sampling rate is is the bigger than the uh, signal so when i put i have is selected 2 kilohertz is the sampling rate and put here is the sample and put here is the analog signal applied here then it will be converted into two parts like the waveform will come like this of the practical what is the meaning of this waveform that that is the sample sample signal what is the include in this signal the signal which signal this signal is converted into this signal because this is a sampling signal and this is analog signal so analog signal is now converted into sampling signal with the help of 2 2 kilohertz sampling rate and the other signal also we can see here that the sampling sampling and hold signal Hmm. this one this one also you just check it here sampling and hold so we can get two types of signal here the sampling signal and sampling and hold signal what is the difference between this is a continuous signal this is there is no variation and but in the sampling and hold signal is called that when the is flat line is showing in the screen that means that time signal is hold for some time 
okay sometimes is frequency sampling it is showing sampling and sometimes is it is flat means that is hold so it is called sampling and hold signal so that in our practical the next process the next part is reconstruction again this signal to analog signal okay the last part of the practical is this again it is convert to the analog signal so what is the process for what what circuit we have, we have used here in the what circuit we have used we have used the low pass filter circuit okay just you do one connection from sampling hold or hold signal to the low pass filter signal whenever when you reconstruct it then it will come like this reconstruction this is reconstruction signal so three types of signal i have explained you this was first was it was analog signal second it is converted to the sample and hold signal and third is reconstruction of analog signal why it is not coming like this because we have used this one and our output is this type of signal why it is the variation why it is variation because the sampling is sample our sampling rate is only 2 kilohertz if we increase this one if we increase sampling rate like 8 kilohertz then signal is convert like this signal analog, analog signal same signal it will convert to the analog signal because our sampling rate is to 8 kilohertz but whenever it comes to 2 kilohertz only the variation will be involved in the reconstruction so first practical which i have explained you and these are the other stages of the practical that uh, you can change your sampling rate maybe 2 kilohertz maybe 5 kilohertz 8 kilohertz these all the frequencies you in the build in the kit in our kit and change the sampling rate and we can observe it easily in our cro screen so this is first practical is over now